is up my bats and bots and today we're looking at studio series 06 star scream so here we are and there it is and first and foremost before we look at screamer we'll take a look at the packaging you can see 06 star scream he's from a movie wow look at that his name is star scream studio series transformers transformers generations another image of star scream autobot symbol close up on star scream 06 studio series Words, things, barcodes, and oh, big screen inspired mission city battle and brief bio. If you want to read it, you can pause it and yeah. And as if with all Studio Series figures, he does include display stand. Let's see, Transformers, the Autobot symbol that was there before. 06 to a series, Transformers 1. And as always, I'm doing this in robot and not uh, alt mode, so you can have him like sitting there. Of course, it works better with him in robot mode, so yeah. And take a look at Screamer here. Nice detail. Nice detail. He does have wheels but they're rolling in place so he slides instead of rolls but yeah you can you can flip these in you have like just the regular jet and you can see it has a lot a lot of his jet like robot mode underneath but it's still pretty cool i like it and as always i'm not doing comparisons in alt mode so we'll go down the transformation just raise the camera up. Oh, and does he come with accessories? Yes, he does. And you can tab it in right here. And that kind of hides away. If you don't want to, you can. There's ports and there's a peg on it. You can just plug it in anywhere you want. So options if if you want to do it. So first thing you want to do is you want to open up that. Bring his arms out. Then you want to you want to kind of like make sure this gets out easily on both sides. You just want to friction it up. And you just want to tab the wing back, flip those in, open up. Oh, this is not friction, so you won't break it. So you just just. Pop that back into place. So you just want to open these up. Oh, you want to open this up as well. Then you want to bring the arms out. Bring bring the arms out. <laughs> bring the arms out. Swing them out. Flip about the hands. Next, you want to. Untab the legs, split them. There's a tab that goes in the slot right here, so sometimes that'll come undone for you. Stand them up. Next, you want to bring out these sections. Oof. Oof, sorry. Next, you want to bring out his face. Open this up still. Slide that in. Close this back piece up. Bring, bring the arms up, and there's a little slot that's going to go on a tab right here. I can flip that in. There's it in. There it goes in. And there'll be tabs that go in the slots right here. And we're done. Yes, we're done. Woo! We're done. And looking at Starscream, he's pretty dope. I, I personally like the Starscream. And looking at the details, we hold on. We can see nice head sculpt, red for the eyes, gold for the head and mouth. Lots of molded detail going down. And he kind of doesn't have a butt almost, so that's kind of sad for him. And see the cockpit's just his chest. 
And out of all the Bayverse designs for the Decepticons, Starscream's is one of my favorites out of them. And going on the articulation, head can do a full 360, and it can move up by the joint. So, But you can't rotate the head when it's like that, do the shape of his head. Your arms can do a full 360 in and out and go way down on that joint. Um, elbow rotation, and you got dub double jointed one. Hands can move up and hand itself around ball joints so you can get all kinds of movement. Nothing at the waist due to the way he transforms. Moves can, legs can go forward that far, back about that far. Knees are kind of weird, kind of do like that, and and ankle tilted. You can use the landing gear to have it like that, or you can move his leg. And more importantly, can he wield his weapon? And we didn't really look at this, so we'll look at it now. And this is rubber, so you don't have to worry about breaking this. And now this plugs in. You wanna flip in his hand. That'll just tab in. Flip his hand around, and you want this this side to be facing up, so that will just slide in easily. And there you go, now he's got his murder hand. His shooting missile murder hand. And now on the comparisons. First up we have Prime. And see there, he's a bit taller. But if you kind of like angle his way, legs just right, he'll be a bit smaller than Prime. Next, we have another movie, Starscream. The Bumblebee movie one. And yeah, still a bit taller. And now, here he is with all my Decepticons. So, I have the Fallen in the middle. And Starscream right there. But I don't think I'll be able to do this. Don't worry. Don't worry, we'll make it work. The Megatron right there. Oh, I lost his gun, but that he doesn't need it. Um, bring a Mixmaster. I did get him too. There will be a review on him very soon. Um, bring in Soundwave. Um, sideways. Laser beak and uh, skipjack. Oh, oh, I can't. Let's move sideways. Uh oh. All right, skipjack, you go there. Sound wave there. And laser beak right there. And they're all my Decepticons for Studio Series. There you go. So now here are my thoughts on the figure. I personally like the Starscream. And I, I still need the uh, the tattooed version of Starscream. The Revenge of the Fallen one, technically. Um, but this one, I really like this one. And if you have the uh, Dark of the Moon Deluxe Starscream, this is similar to it, but it's just more upscale. Sadly, I don't have it, and I would have compared that. But overall, I think it's really good. And no, this is not a re-release at all. This is from eBay. If you're looking for U.S. sellers, good luck. There's, I found this for a really good price. It was about like 50 bucks, and I got it. Here it is now. And if you can find it, if you're not so worried about buying from like foreign countries like China or some, China has some pretty great prices on eBay. So if you can, pick it up. Um, order it, do do whatever. If you see it in a store or something, get it. It's it's really good. And the Revenge of the Fallen one, I'm working really hard to find that one. I'm trying to find a Revenge of the Fallen Megatron. I'm trying to find all those. I'm still trying to work and getting all the Studio Series guys, like Devastator and all them. But overall, I think this is really good. And do I think you should pick it up? Yes, I really do. It doesn't matter which Starscream you get. It kind of does if you want to have the missile gun. Or if you want the uh, saw, the saw blade comes with the Remote of the Fallen one, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification, share, tell your family, I don't know, whatever you want to do, um, and hit that bell notification, be notified about future reviews, live, live streams, 
shorts, maybe, I don't know, but this is Dark Nightmares Friday saying, 